well, brain first and body first uh, subtypes seem on the surface uh, a very provocative and interesting approach. I think it's a step backward uh, compared to Brack. Brack uh, at least gave us uh, some beautiful stages, even if they are fictional, at least uh, they were very interesting to think through, very fascinating uh, thinking behind it. With brain first and body first, what we're essentially saying is that the pathology might be initially conceivably ascertain outside of the brain that might be body first versus pathology that's first seen in the brain and then later potentially outside of the brain well uh two major problems with this and we've reviewed additional problems but the main one is to assume that the beginning of the disease is when you see the pathology and as i've uh, mentioned based on many studies uh, uh the pathology is not the beginning but an end uh, secondly, uh, a major feature of uh, the uh, body first uh, Parkinson's is the presence of uh, REM behavior disorder. But in fact, REM behavior disorder requires a change in the brain. Uh, it is a condition that's uh, uh, well known to uh, be related to already involvement of the brain, not of the peripheral nervous system such as the colonic uh, pathology that's well known to appear early on. So there are many problems with this. I think is uh, providing us a false sense of organization. It's also a testament of how creative we neurologists are, but uh, we've also proven that nature can't be fooled no matter how elegant. Our theories are. And I hope that uh, with the debate uh, that we had at the Academy and at the uh, uh, Movement Disorder Society Congress, uh, we'll move beyond the idea that alpha-synuclein is the center of all that is uh, problematic, but rather only a sign of trouble and not a sign, uh, and not a, a reason why that trouble has appeared in the first place.